There's a raven flying for Dragonstone now. Daenerys is our only chance. No. There's another. Killed him. He turned them all. You don't understand. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones Season 8 Theory video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. The theory I'm about to present to you is not one that I created myself. This theory is actually from an article that was written on BlastingNews.com, and I will put the link to the full article down below in the description of this video. The person who wrote out this theory is named Milos, and he reached out to me via email a couple of weeks ago. He told me that he was one of the authors for BlastingNews.com, and he said he was a fan of my channel. He'd actually written a few things based on some of my videos, which I was honored to find out. Milos also told me to check out the website to see some of the other things he had published, and with his permission, he said I could talk about some of these things in one of my videos. So I went to his page last night, and I came across this theory about the Night King that I thought was very interesting. I cannot recall ever hearing anything like this before, so I figured I would read this to you, then open it up for discussion, that way I can see what some other people have to say about it. The title of this article alone had me very intrigued. It's called, The Night King's Biggest Secret Exposed. So without further ado, let's just begin. The Night King's backstory will be the huge plot point of Game of Thrones Season 8, and his true identity might just as well be the final twist of the series. After all, the showrunners already confirmed there would be three huge reveals that will come straight out of George R. R. Martin's pen. First, we had Shireen's death. She was burned alive at the stake by Melisandre, with permission from her own parents. Then, an equally devastating Hodor reveal in Season 6, Episode 5, titled The Door, which would have a horrifying connection to Hodor's name. So, given the fact that Game of Thrones is filled with heartbreaking moments like these, it's extremely hard to pinpoint what the final twist will be. In our opinion, it's going to involve the Night King, so let's find out how this might play out. The Night King's name may sound familiar to some of you, but the real question is how George R. R. Martin's final twist could involve the Night King, a character who doesn't even appear in the A Song of Ice and Fire books. The answer is, however, simple. Just because we haven't heard about the White Walker leader in the books, doesn't mean he won't appear in the final two books, one of which is going to be called The Winds of Winter. There is also a certain figure from the Age of Heroes whose name is strikingly similar to that of the Night King. We are, of course, talking about the 13th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, who became the Night's King after he fell in love with a female White Walker. Then, he brought her to the Night Fort, which is the oldest castle at the Wall and this is where he declared himself the Night's King, and he bound the Brothers of the Night's Watch to his will through sorcery. For 13 years, they would rule the Night Four together, and for that period, they were making human sacrifices to the White Walkers, until Brandon the Breaker, who was the King in the North, and Joramin, the King beyond the Wall, joined forces to defeat him. Then, all records of the Night's King were destroyed, and he was lost to history. So now, nobody really knows who he really was, but Old Man believes that he was the brother of Brandon the Breaker, the King in the North at the time, which would make the Night's King a Stark of Winterfell. It is our belief that the White Walker leader we see in Game of Thrones is loosely based on this legendary figure. But before we delve into all that, let's go through everything that happened during the Long Night, because only then will we be able to explain who this show's Night King really is. There was a very subtle detail revealed when Jon and Daenerys were in the cave together. Game of Thrones Season 7 featured an immensely important scene in which Jon Snow showed Daenerys Targaryen the ancient carvings in the Dragonglass Cave on the Island of Dragonstone. It was here that we learned that the First Men and the Children of the Forest fought together against their common enemy, the White Walkers. This was also something Jon Snow was trying to get everyone to understand. 
If they want a chance to defeat the Night King and his army, they will need to do it together, just like the children in the First Men did. But there was, however, something strange in the way the White Walkers were depicted. We saw three figures with blue eyes, with one of them wearing the Night King's crown. But here's the thing, this White Walker has facial hair, and he looks nothing like the Night King we see in the show. And just as a reminder, take a look at the scene for yourself. Because the enemy is real. It's always been real. This subtle detail casts a new shadow on the Westerosi legend of the Long Night and the Night King's identity. So here is what we think happened during the first Long Night. According to the Long Night legend, Azor Ahai called out his wife Nisa Nisa, and then he drove a sword into her chest to forge the legendary sword called Lightbringer. It is our belief that this was where Nisa Nisa was actually turned into a White Walker, very similar to how the Night King was created in the show. Nisa Nisa's sacrifice allowed Azor Ahai to finally forge the magical sword that he later used to kill the first Night King, the one with the goatee. Then Nisa Nisa and the rest of the remaining White Walkers were banished into the lands of Always Winter, and the wall was raised to prevent any future invasions. It makes sense that some of the White Walkers survived the Long Night, because they have obviously returned since then. This theory states that after several years, Azor Ahai joined the Night's Watch to be in the first line of battle, should the enemy dare to attack again. And it wasn't long until he was elected the 13th Lord Commander. Azor Ahai fought bravely against whatever was left of the White Walker army, until one day he spotted a woman with pale skin that was cold as ice, and eyes like blue stars, on the other side of the wall. According to our theory, this strange woman was none other than Nisa Nisa, in her White Walker form. And given the fact that Azor Ahai was still madly in love with his wife, he couldn't resist her, even though she was no longer herself. They made love together and this is where he realized that he wants to be with her again, no matter the cost. That's why he was turned into the new Knight's King. He would then rule the wall alongside his queen for 13 years from the Night Fort, the biggest Night's Watch castle. And together, they were making constant sacrifices to the White Walkers. Then the King in the North and the King beyond the wall joined their forces, and they banished the Night King to the lands of Always Winter and captured his queen so they could no longer make babies together. She has been kept inside the crypts of Winterfell ever since, and she is being protected by the Dead Kings of Winter. The reason why they banished the Night King to the lands of Always Winter instead of killing him is because he was brothers with the King in the North. Brandon the Breaker could not kill his own brother, although he hated what he had become. So now, thousands of years later, the Night King is out for revenge with his great army and he is heading to Winterfell to defeat the Starks and free his beloved queen. There is a section of the crypts that is partially collapsed and blocked off, and this is most likely where she is being kept. Perhaps they were built over hot springs to ensure it would never be cold enough for her powers to reignite. It is our belief that the Night King's backstory will be explored in a flashback, right before Jon Snow, who is possibly a Zora High Reborn, kills him with the new Lightbringer. Jon will forge this new magical sword by stabbing Daenerys in the chest, thus turning her into a White Walker. That's how the story will come full circle in a true George R.R. R. Martin fashion, and only then we will be able to realize that the villain is just the hero of the other side. I thought this was a very interesting twist on some of the already popular theories or legends from this story. I really like the parallel between Nisa Nisa and how the Night King was created. Nisa Nisa was sacrificed by being stabbed through the heart, thus creating the legendary sword Lightbringer, 
and the Night King was created the same way, by having a magical weapon plunged into his heart. This is the first time I've ever heard someone say Nisa Nisa was turned into a White Walker after she was stabbed by Lightbringer. And she was the female White Walker that joined forces with the 13th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, who would later be known as the Night's King. This would be a great final twist in the show because all this time we thought the first Azor Ahai was a hero, but he ended up becoming a villain in the end because he couldn't resist his wife, who he turned into a White Walker after she had sacrificed herself for him. I'm not sure how everything lines up with the timeline, but this is just the kind of twisted love story George R. R. Martin would write. But who's to say if any of this happened? But I guess we will just have to wait and see. Put all your thoughts and questions down below because I'm interested in hearing what all of you have to say about this theory. I want to thank Milos for reaching out to me and giving me his blessing on talking about this on my channel. And I do want to apologize for how my voice sounds today. For the past two days, I've been completely losing my voice. My throat feels extremely raspy right now, but I'm trying to do my best. I also want to thank everyone for stopping by to watch the video, along with all of my supporters on Patreon. I love you all, and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.